Hi, everybody. Good evening. No? Okay. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Good evening. Welcome. How are you? It's fine, teacher. Are you guys are you guys happy? Are you sad? Hi guys. The one that uh, the ones that are joining, welcome. It's good to have you here again. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, Mauricio. How's everything? How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Um, I work a lot of work. <laughs> are you happy? Are you happy though? Uh, yes. And this morning I had a lot of work. Okay, excellent. I had a lot of work. Now, oh, yes, it's, it's good for me and, and when we had a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. I can imagine. I think it's better for you. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good to see okay, you. Good. good to see you, Ada, Gabriela, Lourdes, Adriana, Surma, Guadalupe, Luis, and of course you, Walter. Yes. A pleasure to be here again, people. Gabriela, what happened to you yesterday? Hi, teacher. Why? I told you to stay after the class and you left. Oh, sorry. I, I don't understand you. Sorry. Me quedé solo, pieza. Dije, Gabriela, ¿qué es después de la, después de la clase? Se fue. Uh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. That's that's fine. All right. Uh, guys, I see very, very, very few people today. Well, just 10. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully, the rest will keep joining. Let me let me take attendance. I will do it. I will do it right now. Okay, here we go. Ana Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Hi. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Hello. Ana Sea Michelle. Not here yet. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Hello, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Here, teacher. Hi. Remida, Remida. Guadalupe Flores. No, disculpa, que, que, que ya me llamaron. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present. Hi. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Julia. Okay. You were not here yesterday, huh? No, I couldn't. Okay, I understand. Don't worry. It's okay. Thank you for being here. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Luis Eduardo Rodriguez Ferrer. Here. Luis, hello. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramirez. Yeah, huh? Ophelia Orellana Arce. Yeah. 
Zamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez de... Sorry. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Ay. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosabra López García. Present. Hello. Flor de María Carvalho Ugarte. Present. Hi. And uh, Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Hi, teacher. I'm working Hi. right now. I'm still okay. working. Yes. Uh, I just read your message. Okay. I see Jorge there, but he didn't reply. See, I'm just checking who is here. Um, here. Okay. Guys, thank you for being here. Let's start. I'm gonna show you the book. <clears throat> and there are some pages that we have to work on. Guys, uh, today is the last day to uh, update the platform activities. I'm not sure if you've done it already. If you haven't, go ahead and do it. After the class, you can do it. Okay, today we finished the first week. So the first week, I mean, the activities for the first week have to be done today, all right? Yes, I'm just like uh, letting you know. All right, on this day, we're going to learn how to create profile description for a manager position. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to create uh, an ad for a manager position, okay? This is class number five. I didn't uh, write the number down, I forgot. Okay, but it's class number five, okay? That's just wanna show you the topic. Let's go to the book here. Go to page number 15. On page number 15, you're going to find the information that we're going to study today. Page number 15, okay? Yes. Today we finished unit number one. Remember unit number one was about management. And uh, tomorrow we continue with unit number two, which is about management and conflict, okay? That's what we're going to be working on next, uh, the next week, I mean, tomorrow. All right, here we go. Today, it says that we will be able to create a job description at, to hire a manager. And uh, I have one, two, three, three questions here in part number one. In part number one, we find three different uh, questions. Have you ever applied to a job position you saw advertised on the newspaper? Have you ever written a job ad? What are essential pieces of information in a job ad? Guys, we're going to be uh, analyzing these questions and uh, trying to reply. What is ad, people? What is ad? Anuncio. Yes, thank you very much for letting me know. That's what ad is. Okay, sometimes they are annoying. <laughs> Especially uh, uh, when you're like doing something interesting. Yes. Okay. And then, then it just pops up and interrupts what you're doing. Okay. Very good. Uh, three questions. Let's just start with the first question. This question is for everybody. This question is for everybody. The question is Have you ever applied to a job position you saw advertised on a newspaper? 
Anybody? No, nobody has, has done this? No? Impossible. Okay. Uh, me, yes, teacher, but I saw the uh, job in plat online platform. Mm -hmm. For example, LinkedIn, I apply uh, this. Okay. Okay. And did you get the job? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay. See, Sulma did it. She's done it. All right. Thank you to, uh, for your answer. Okay. I I, I said that no, nobody has, has uh, like, not many people have done this before. The second question says, have you ever written a job ad? Have you ever written a job ad, April? Guys, have you ever written a job ad? Hello, it's me. I haven't. You haven't? Okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, that's okay. Uh, then, uh, like, nobody has. Nobody's done this before. Third question. What are essential pieces of information in a job ad? I think in this one, you will give me, you'll give me, like, good, good opinions. What are, what are some uh, essential pieces, people, of information that we need in a job ad? What do we need to write down or, or to, to type or whatever in a job ad? Tell me. I think that the requirements and the salary expectations. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's a good, a good one. What else? Teacher. Hello. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. I'm going to say you that I am I'm going to receive the classes only listening because I am going to be in a meeting um, around 9 p.m. I, I guess I am going to can participate with the classes. Okay, that's okay. Let him, let me know, please. Thank you, teacher. Yes, no problem. All right. Anybody else? Mm, what information? Uh, yes, yes, tell me. Uh, company information, locations, uh, hours, salary. Okay, okay, that's okay. So we need we need to be very specific with the with the with the job ad. Okay, like uh, we have we have to include the most important information in this thing. You know, in order for the person, the applicants, to, to understand what you are asking for. Okay. Yes, that's how, how it is. All right. Okay. Let's continue with the second part. The second part here is this one. For this, I'm going to go straight to the whiteboard. Okay. And I'm going to explain to you something important interesting here we go we have been talking we have been talking about relative clauses actually pronounce or clauses that's okay we've been talking about relative clauses and uh, we've been learning how to use who and how to use that okay yes okay we, we have been learning how to use who and how to use that. Well, let me tell you that today. Okay, let's look at who being non Okay, let's look let's look at who being non essential. Let's look at who the word who being non essential. 
that's what we're going to learn. All right. I'm just uh, letting you know here. Sometimes, well, that that what have what what I have explained to you about who and that. It's information that is necessary, and this information is essential. Well, today I'm going to show you how to include information in a sentence, but this information is not really relevant, or as it says here, the information is non-essential. We mean that the information is not really necessary, or it's just like extra, but not needed. So that's how we use who, okay? There is a way, there is a way or a form to use who, but we can still eliminate that sentence and it makes no difference. It makes no difference, but we're going to see. Look at this. Okay, look at this. Over here we have relative pronouns as subjects. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, an example can be Juan is the Juan is the doctor that or who saved. Look at this sentence. One is the doctor that or who, both are correct, that or who saved, saved that baby's life last night. Okay. In this case, we are using who as the subject, who or that. We're using who or that as the subject of the sentence. Okay, here. Saved is the verb. All right, I've been telling you that we have uh, two sentences. One is the subject here of the first sentence. One, okay, is, is the verb and the doctor is the complement. Okay, so we include the, the other sentence using who or that with uh, as subjects and then the verb. Saved a baby's life last night is just a complement. Okay, so in this case, that or who become the the subject okay and uh, we need them okay in this case it's uh, okay in this case it is necessary i mean that or who are are necessary in the sentence okay that's what it one use. One, uh, sorry, relative pronouns. As objects. Okay, this is a little different because we include one more word or one extra word in comparison with the one that we have above. And uh, let me show you. Okay, look at this example. Juan, <clears throat> the doctor. Okay, Juan is the doctor. That's the sentence. Okay, who or that I One is the doctor that or who I don't like to work with. Okay. One is the doctor that I don't like to work with or who I don't like to work with. We have who and that here. Are, are who and that working as, as objects people or as subjects? What do you think? objects okay we're using we're using them as objects 
okay? Both are, are being used as objects, okay? Because we already have the subject up here. The subject is here. I is a subject and like is the verb, okay? So in this case, we're not using who or that as the subjects. And in this case, we can say that is not necessary, okay? Who, who and that are not necessary, you can omit them, okay? You can omit them. You can say, you can say it like this. One is the doctor. I don't like to work with. And it is correct. It is correct. We no, no problems, okay? Yes. All right. Now we're going to continue with another piece of information that I will show you in this moment. Okay. And that information is, is found on the slides. Teacher, you can send this information to group? Yes, I can do it. No problem. Thank you. Yes. Okay, let's go. Here. We have this, this, this uh what we're going to learn today. It's a non-essential clauses. Non-essential clauses. Let's read the definition. Read with me, people. Read with me. Non-essential clauses are those that help provide extra information that is not really relevant to the sentence. It is just extra information, extra, or to be more specific about who you are talking about. Who, sorry, that's not correct. My bad, my mistake. Let me change it. Sorry. There you go. Save it. Okay. Again, let me read it again. Non essential clauses are those that help provide extra information that is not relevant to the sentence. It is just extra or to be more specific about whom you are talking, okay? So the, the information that we, the non-essential clauses is just information that is not necessary, it is not important, it is not relevant to the sentence. It's just extra information about the person, okay? Yes. Let's look at the first sentence. It says, Mark Zuckerberg, has become one of the most powerful and influential person around the world. Okay. Persons, persons, persons. So it needs, needs a mess. Sorry. I, I think I was writing this too fast today. Persons, persons. Okay, excellent. That's just a normal sentence. In this, in the, the first sentence, the one that I just read, it doesn't, it doesn't have extra information. This one doesn't have extra information. So I'm not using a non-essential clause. So as you can see, the sentence, the sentence has a complete meaning. You understand it completely, right? Look at the second sentence. Mark Zuckerberg, comma who created Facebook, comma, has become one of the most powerful and inflation, inflation persons around the planet, okay? See, the information that we are including is this, from the comma to the other comma, that's the extra information that we have included. Notice, notice that the, we have include this sentence between commas. So that means that you write the name of the person, then you write a comma, you write the non-essential clause, you end it with a comma, and then you continue with the sentence. Okay, see, as you can see, it is done over here. Mark Zuckerberg 
who created Facebook has become one of the most powerful and influential persons around the world. Okay. You can easily, you can easily remove, you can easily remove this. Okay. You can remove who created Facebook. Guys, are you with me? You can eliminate that. You can that, that sentence. You can eliminate it, and as you can see, it won't it won't give you any problems understanding what you're saying. It's just extra information that can be added or removed. Easy, right? Yes. Questions about these people. Questions about that? No? Okay. No question, okay. teacher. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Give me a second. Just a moment, please. <clears throat> I'm back, sorry. Okay, let's continue here. I have more examples. Look at this. Okay, we continue with uh, information about non-essential clauses. Punctuation, punctuation, the non-essential clause is introduced with a comma and we end it or we close it with a comma, okay? That's how it is. That's how we add that information with the commas, okay? Yes. If you eliminate the commas, that's a mess. That's not really uh, uh, an idea. It just makes no sense. As you see, the comma is here. Then we have the sentence and another comma. That's how it is, okay? That's the punctuation structure, okay? Very good. Next. Over here, we have some examples, okay? Non-essential classes, more examples. As you, as you can see, we have six, four, five, five. Okay, the first example says, Mauricio, me, that's me, hi. Mauricio, who is teaching module six, won the lottery. <gasps> oh, that would be perfect. Incredible. Three dollars, three dollars. I won three dollars. It's still a lottery, you know. <laughs> but it's, it's lucky to you. <laughs> yes, three dollars. I spent. You are I, lucky. <laughs> I spent five dollars for the ticket, and I won. I won three dollars. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it's better that. I'm mad. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yes. I'm joking. Okay, it is an example. Then we have one example. I'm sorry, I have some of your names here. <laughs> sorry. Okay, look, Ada. Hello, Ada, are you there? <laughs> Ada, comma. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't explain the first part. This part from the comma, from the comma to the other comma here, that's the extra information, okay? That information, you can eliminate it. You can remove it, okay? No problem. Mauricio won the lottery. Mauricio won the lottery, okay? That's it. Just that, that, that's extra information. Next example, Ada, who is always sleeping during class. It is, no, I don't know. Sorry, <laughs> he never sleep. <laughs> She has insomnia. <laughs> really? It's, it is good. It is good. Yes. <laughs> let me tell you, people, let me tell you something Something strange about me is that I always sleep at 1, 1 a.m. 12 a.m. Or, or 1 a.m. I go to my, my bed and I sleep. Yes. But 
And the next day I wake up normal, normally like uh, nothing happened. Yes, it's good. <laughs> okay, Ada who is always who is always sleeping during class has gone viral. She's gone viral, huh? Okay, see that sentence. That sentence is extra information. That information is not necessary. Okay, that's why. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's why it is called non-essential. Sorry. Need to drink some water. Excuse me. <coughs> Example number three. Sell me. Hi. <laughs> Sell me, comma, who is the new secretary cries too much. I am emotional teacher. You are, you are emotional. Emotional person. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Sometimes it is necessary. You know? <laughs> okay. So sell me cries too much. But if you want to specify, I add extra information and, and, and be specific with that. With sell me. We don't know who sell me is, but ah, who is the new secretary? Extra information. There you go. And that's how it is, okay? Our new boss, who likes ponies, who likes from here, here, that's the extra information, will give us a bonus. That's good, right? That's good from this guy. Okay, Pamela Beatriz. Hi, Pamela. I don't see you there. I'm not sure if you're here. I think. I ah, yes, you're there. Okay. Yeah. I think this, this example is, is true, but I don't know. Okay. Pamela Beatriz, who loves Bad Bunny, is traveling to Mexico. Okay. This information is not really necessary. Okay. Okay. That information is extra. Pamela Beatriz is traveling to Mexico. Okay. Yes. Excellent, right? Easy. Guys, do you have any questions about this? Guys, do you have any questions about this? Okay. I like the example. You like what? Sorry? No, teacher, thank you. I like the examples. I like the examples. <laughs> That's because you love bad money. And it's okay. We, we're not judging, okay? Okay, now we're going to do this. Go on here. We eliminate this. All right? And we add extra things here. Non, sorry. Non-essential clauses. I'm going to write some sentences here, but in this sentence or two, these sentences, you are going to uh, include the extra information. I'm just going to write down the, the, the sentence with no extra information, and then you're going to do, or you're going to use non-essential clauses to add uh, that information, okay? Yes, well, hold on. I'm going to have to do something as before, and it's this. Here, in number two, let's read the information here. Let me see. Hi, Julia. Julia, help us read, please. Read this part, please. Okay, okay. Uh, non essential relative clause provide more information about someone or something. They are not absolutely necessary for a sentence to have meaning. Okay, you see, they are not absolutely necessary for a sentence to have a meaning. Okay, and then we have three examples. We, uh, no, sorry, it's busy. Gabriela, read the first example, please. 
Okay. Uh, Dean <coughs> Beckett, who is Peter's friend, is the editor for the New York Times. Okay. <coughs> Thank you very much for reading. <coughs> Sorry, I, I'm getting some. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, next example. Uh, let me see. Ophelia, are you there? Can you please read the second example? Okay, apparently she's not there. Susana, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you please read the second example? Okay, Mark Zuckerberg, who mm -hmm. is my favorite entrepreneur, was mm -hmm. born in 1984. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you very much for reading. Flora, can you please read the second, the next one, sorry. Okay, our new manager who knows about true leadership mm -hmm. is implementing a great motivational program. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much for reading. Read with me. When the relative clause does not provide essential information about the noun it modifies, it is necessary to use a comma at the beginning and at the end of the adjective clause. Right? In oral speech, or in spoken language, in oral speech, non essential clauses are marked by a little pause before. And at the end of the extra, sorry, the adjective clause. Okay. Yes. When you are uh, saying or including uh, extra information, you pause a little bit. Okay. You make a little pause. For example, Mark Zuckerberg, who is my favorite entrepreneur, was born in 1984. You have to like make a small pause, like in between. Okay. That's what it is. Very good. So this is very a very simple a very simple thing. You know, it's super easy. Yes. And now we're going to practice a little bit. So here, Okay, this is the example. Jack is returning to Disney. That's, that's the example. Okay, guys, in this example, I have not included, I haven't included any extra information. That extra information will be added by you. So you are going to, like, you're going to tell me the example. I mean, orally. Yes, verbally. And uh, we're going to start with volunteer. Volunteer, go. Okay, me, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Jack, I, I can use a comma, right? Yes, yes. Jack, who is the best pirate? Comma is returning to this is the example that Susanna provided. It says Jack, who is the best pirate, is returning to Disney. Is that example correct, everybody? Is it correct? Or is the sentence correct? Yes, it is correct. Thank you. <laughs> it is correct. Yes. All right. Another volunteer, another volunteer. The same sentence. Change the extra information. Me, teacher. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, Jack, who worked with me last summer, is returning to Disney. Okay, your example is was say Jack. Who worked with me, right? You said. Yes. Who worked with me last summer is returning to Disney. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it's okay. Okay. All right. Easy, right? Another example here. Okay, this, this one is a little bit more difficult. <clears throat> it says the police caught the thieves. What information can you include there, people? Anybody? I'm just... Guys, hi. What is the mean cow? Ah, atrapar. Caught. People, hello, I'm waiting. Anybody? Okay, I'm going, I'm going to choose a person then. The person I choose. I can do it. Okay, thank you, Luis. Um, let me check. The police who was outside of the building caught the thieves. Okay, okay, yes. Who was outside the building, you said, right? Correct. This is what, what Luis said, the police who was outside the building caught the thieves, okay? Thieves, ladrones, okay? See, extra information there. The police who was outside the building caught the thieves. One more example we are with, with this one, with the police, when we see Is there a volunteer? Teacher. Okay. Uh, the police who is in charge of protecting cow thieves. Okay, the police who is in charge of protecting. the thieves okay there you go there you go okay perfect thank you very much for your participation there now everybody let everybody is going to give me an example everybody will do it okay we're going we're going to go one by one okay and uh let's start right now we're going to start with uh pamela hi people Think, okay, because everybody is going to give one Hello. example. Pamela, hi. Hello. Okay, could you give us an example, Pamela? Uh, whatever. Yes. Um, um, uh, who loves a sitcom? Uh, it is, it is. We're having what well, I'm having some trouble listening, being able to listen. I don't what? really, I cannot really, I cannot really hear you. 
Ah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was so close to love sitcoms is my my friend. Okay. If you can you please can you please uh, write down that on, on the on the write it down on the on the Zoom chat? Yes, please. Oh sorry. Okay, thanks. Thanks. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. No le escucho, right. teacher. Can you hear me? No me escucha, dice. I can hear you. Okay. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Adriana, are you there? Can you please give us an example? Adriana? Nelson? That's one is not there. People, you're sleeping. Okay, Rosa Elena. Okay, teacher. Um, um, Leonardo da Vinci, who paint the Mona Lisa, painted. was a famous paint paint painter. Painted. Painted, painted or painted. Painted. Ah, painted. Uh -huh. The uh -huh, who painted the Mona Lisa was a famous artist. Okay, okay, that's okay. That's a good one. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see, Gloria. <laughs> what happened? <Okay. laughs> um, I know I now have the the example, but <clears throat> improvise, please. Okay. Um I think um, <clears throat> You can do it, don't worry. I don't know. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. Uh, okay. Okay. We're, we're going to let Gloria think about this. Okay, you, I think she has it. Uh, uh, the, um, the Papa Francisco uh, uh, no, nos dice, permítanme. I think, I think, excuse me. Okay, we're going to give Gloria a, a few minutes to think about her example. Or okay. do you have it? <laughs> who, who, who is the leader uh, of the Catholic Church? Mm -hmm. I know. Uh -huh. The Papa Francisco. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it's a, yes. Uh -huh. That's the, the, the extra information. How do you end the sentence? I think. No, what you're, what you're saying is this was all kind of uh, correct. You said Pop Francis. That's just what I say. Then you said, who is the leader? Of the, 
of the Catholic Church. Uh -huh. We need the, 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 the information. We need to continue with the sentence. After after the comma, I just sent the, the information to the chat. After the comma, you need to finish the sentence. Remember that the information that you have between the commas is information that is not really important. Okay. Okay. So what we can do is like has, has the way we can say to end it. Okay. Pope Francisco, who is the leader of the Catholic Church, has passed away. Passed away means die, morir, fallecer. Okay, it's an example, all right? I mean no okay. offense. Okay. I mean no offense. Okay, let's continue with this. Uh, Sandra, are you there? <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Go, Sandra. Give us an example. Peter, Peter, who is my co worker, visited Paris this month. Repeat, please. Peter, who is my co worker, mm -hmm. visited Paris, visited Paris last month. Okay. This is last month. Okay. The example is perfect. Luis, can you do it, Luis? Sure. Um, Mario, who is our account director, didn't send the payroll today. Okay. He didn't send the papers. Okay. That's okay. That's good. Thanks for, for your example, Luis. Let me see. Anna, tell me. In my office that is located in El Salvador, offers different financial services in advisory and audit and tax. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for your example. Uh, Ophelia? You're welcome. Hello, teacher. Hi. Go. Um, I hope it's Peter as a teacher. Hmm, sorry? No, no, no. An example to you. To me? Mm -hmm. I, say, I hope his sister is, is a uh, favor in the Mario and you four. I didn't quite hear you, no le escuché muy bien, Ofelia. Lo voy a decir otra vez. Please. Uh, sería, I, 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 I host his sister. I, I work in Ciudad Merliot is a, a, a company is a, is uh, a company is elevation. Uh, if we, I don't know if it's possible for, to, to, to do this, but if you can, can you do, uh, can you send the information to the chat, please? Okay. Please, uh, please. thank you. Julia, go. Thank you, Ophelia. Excuse me. My boss is always eating. Uh, we saw he's celebrating her, her wedding this weekend. Can you please repeat? I, we didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my boss, who is always eating, is celebrating her wedding this weekend. Okay, I hear you, but still, you know, we. It's kind of difficult to hear you, but I heard what you said. Mauricio, you want to say something? Okay. Uh, Rafa Nadal, who is the best tennis player, uh, will win a uh, Wimbledon. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for that. 
All right. Uh, okay. Let me see, Carla. Um, my line manager is who, it, no, my line manager, who is scheduled my professional training? No. No. <laughs> Remember that um, the, the sentence with who has to be between. Okay, está en medio de toda la oración. Uh -huh. or, or, or like, to be more specific is after the subject. Being back it, back it, sorry, or bake it, not really sure. That's the, the subject. Then after the subject, we include the extra information which is this one, and then we continue with the sentence that we started here. Dean Beckett is the editor for the New York Times. Okay? Oh, okay. Um, so what you're going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to give me your example and just add extra information to your example. Okay. Um, then uh, 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 Elon Musk, who is mm -hmm. both Twitter, he is the CEO of of Twitter now. <laughs> Repeat it, please. Elon Musk, uh -huh. who, who is bo both Twitter, is the CEO, is the CEO Twitter now. Oh, is the new uh, CEO the Twitter now? Why don't you change it? Repeat, repeat after me, uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk, uh -huh. who is a billionaire, <clears throat> who is a billionaire, billion, billionaire, Bil billionaire, billionaire, uh huh, is the CEO of Twitter, is the CEO in the Twitter. Okay, let me write it down. Okay, this was Elon. Sorry. I just sent that example to the chat. Okay. For you to ah. see. I'm not really sure if, if, the, if that's how you write billionaire. Uh, let me know if you know how to really write it because I don't remember. I think it's like that billionaire, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay, thank you for your example. Let's continue here real quick with the. Uh, let me see. Flor, are you there? <clears throat> okay. Uh, Shakira, mm -hmm. who is my favorite singer? was born in 1977. She's old. <laughs> All right, thank you, Flor, for your example. It's okay. Sulma, go. Uh, my co-worker, who is my best friend, quick job yesterday. Okay, okay, perfect. Another, yeah, let me see, Lourdes, go Lourdes. Okay. Um, Switzerland, mm -hmm. that is the best country for uh, life for me, is located in Europe. In Europe? Yes. Okay, there was, there was something wrong. Well, that's okay. Thank you for your example. Uh, Jose, are you there? Uh, 
Yes, sir, I'm here. So, please. Uh, Marco Su Susak, who wrote the book Stiff, is my favorite write reader. Writer. writer, writer, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for your example. Let's continue. Edwin, are you there? We haven't heard from you. Edwin, hello, Edwin. No, he's not there. Nelson, are you there, Nelson? Okay, go, Nelson. My example is Salvador, who is my older brother, live in USA for three years. Okay, has, li is, has lived has lived in the U.S. for three years. Has lived, okay. Okay, let's continue here. Um, Guadalupe, are you there? Del Carmen? Adriana? Pamela? Sandra? They are sleeping. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> ah, Sandra. Sandra, apareció. Y desapareció. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> can you please, can you please give us an example, Sandra? Other examples? Can I give one? Um, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, apparently the other ones are, are busy. I'm not really sure what they are doing, but that's okay. We're going to continue here uh, with the part number three. In the part number three, we have the following thing, the following exercise. Sorry. My bad. And it's just, actually, it's not the, the third exercise. It's this one. It says, Read the statements below. Decide if the clauses are essential. They give relevant information to understand the meaning of the whole sentence or non-essential and punctuate them accordingly. We're going to read the three examples that we have there and we're going to see or try to understand if we're using essential clauses or non-essential clauses, all right? Let's do this. I will give you three, three minutes to do that. Somebody send me. Hold on, I'm going to update the attendance. Sorry, real quick. Ana, Ana Patricia? Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie? Ana Selmi. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra. Hi, present. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Here. Yes, yes, thank you. Guadalupe del Carmen. Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Hi, Julia Patricia Vasquez. Present. Carla Veronica. Yes, yes, thank you. Vasquez. Present. Are you Julia and Carla related? No. Oh, okay. Because you both are Vasquez. <laughs> yes. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Luis Orlando. Here. Nelson Edgardo, hello, Sanchez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Pamela, hey, teacher. Hi, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, uh, good evening, present. Hello. Hi. Uh, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Present teacher. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Present. 
Present. Present teacher. Present teacher. Maria. Present. And Edwin Alexander. Present. This is the first time everybody is here. This is the first time everybody is here. It's a miracle. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. So we were reading. I told you. I told you to read the examples. These three examples and find out which ones have essential clauses and which ones have uh, non-essential clauses. Let me know when you finish. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me read, let me read the examples here. They say, Training manager who is located in the UK require urgently. What do you think about this sentence? Is it correct like that? It's necessary separate the clause non essential. Okay. And what is the, the non essential clause? Who is located in UK? Okay, so we need to separate them to have a comma here. Between comma. That one and another comma here, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. After UK. Okay, yes. But I don't I don't understand the sentence. I'm not really sure if it is correct. The training manager required ur urgently. Training manager required urgently. Like a bear teacher. Yeah, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's that like there's a word missing. Training manager okay. is required, no. Uh -huh, something yes. like that, yes, yes. But that's okay. Number two, it says, professionals who are familiar with design, development, and implementation of training are to be given preference. I am confused in that. Because uh, the beginning, I, I think, is professional, comma. Mm -hmm. And the second comma is with the sign. Mm. Okay. No, no, that, that, that's correct. That's correct. That part is correct. Because we are, we are uh, we're not separating. We're separating the things, the abilities. Design, develop, comma, development and implementation of training. The, the, the comma is, is okay over there. But let me see how, how, how it looks if we separate them. It will be up, up to this one. Okay. It says professionals are to be given preference. Professionals are to be given preference. The sentence is correct. Okay, the sentence is correct. All right. Yes, and uh, we are adding extra information. So that sentence, the sentence with who, <coughs> excuse me. This sentence, the one that the one that I'm going to underline in this moment, is not really necessary. 
it's just extra information. Oh, that's okay. Yes. Number three, number three, managers with extra certifications that have a particular emphasis on IT and sales are uh, preferable. What do you think about these people? The comma is the certifications, comma. Okay. Exactly, exactly. All uh, the, 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 they can be separated. Let me see. In the other, in the after self. Yes. Okay, it says yes. managers with extra certifications are preferable. Okay, yes. 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 Okay, or we can say, we could say we could say managers with extra certification who have who have you can change that to for who. Okay, yes, easy, right? Very good. Thank you guys for your participation. Now we're going to continue and we're going to read uh, another thing here. Part three. Hi, are you with me? Your turn. It says, look at the example below. Create a job description for. Uh, sorry, a job description ad for a junior manager in one of the departments of your company. Integrate adjective clauses. And look at what it says. I need somebody to read. Let me see. <laughs> Ophelia, hi. Ophelia, read this paragraph, please. Ophelia, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, read, please. Lea el párrafo. Okay, teacher. I will be clean, responding, person, I host with, I be given. I did Julie to a sister senior manager. I we to further a revenue the company. Okay, it says senior manager wanted. We require a responsible person who will be given the duty of assist to assist senior managers working to further develop. Mm -hmm. The company. This is not, that S is not correct there. It's S. Remove it, please. Okay. Let me see another person. Mm -hmm. Gabriela, read, please. Okay. Uh, professional. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable in administration is desired to be in charge of outlining the duties of each team member in your in your sales department. Senior managers meet frequently with your with your with our junior manager, who has to present reports and other documents to discuss evaluations and employee performance. Therefore, good personal relationships are a must. Okay, for more information, call and then. All right, a professional knowledgeable in administration is desired to be in charge of outlining the duties for each uh, team member in our sales department. Senior managers meet frequently with our junior manager who has, uh, who has to, to present reports and other documents discuss evaluations and employee performance. Therefore, good personal relationships are a must. Okay, for more information, call. All right, so what we're going to do is this. Okay, we're going to create, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be about, about it says here, it says here to hire a manager. Okay, we're going to choose what kind of manager we want, okay? Floor manager, production manager, design manager, 
IT manager, etc. Okay, we have different managers. So what I want you guys to write down is, is this. Right in the first part, you're going to write the type of manager that you want. All right. And if you can say you can say want it, you can say the verb want it. Okay. You can say the verb desire. Okay. You can uh require. All right. Yes. Those are the verbs you can use. Okay. Or you can write right in a different way in need of a and then the profession okay in need of a okay you can do that now we're going here i need your help we're going to we're going to create well outline we're going to outline the activity outlining the job ad okay what can we include guys what can we include in the job ad tell me experience that been in need or she need profession needed okay let's go let's go in order Vamos en orden, okay? Like, let's go, let's do this systematically, okay? Profession needed. After the profession, what do you, what, 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 what can we put over there? Looking for or studies. For personal information. Mm, personal information. Yeah, name. I don't know. <laughs> no, but you're, you, you're asking, you're asking for, a, you, you want a person. Oh, person. sorry. Oh, yes, yes, I need, uh-huh. Age, skill, skills. Experience. Skills, experience. Age, experience. Uh -huh. Age, experience, skills. Skills. Uh, description. Sorry? A uh, description of the job. A uh, description, exactly. That, that would be the, the that would be the, 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 the second one. Thank you, Luis. The other credentials, teacher. Sorry? Other credentials. Okay. Extra. Activities, teacher. Activities. Activities. Ability. Yeah, we have skills already. Abilities, skills, no difference. Salary, salary that offer the company. Salary, yes. Uh, oh, there's the word that I forgot. But, um, probably if they have a bonus after, uh, like, like a bonus. Mm -hmm. Extra and the address, address in. I don't think I don't, the address is not necessary. But uh, the, the where are the interview? Oh, yeah, that's that, that, you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sketches. Sketches. Sketch time. Mm -hmm. What else? The location. Okay, the location. Location. What else? Company, name company. The name can be at the beginning before before uh, mentioning the job. There you go. Name of company. Evaluations. Evaluations. Evaluation assessment is better. Okay, requirement. Requirement. No, uh, yeah, that's. But that's part of the experience, the skills, and. Polygrapho. Sorry. Polygraph. Prueba polygraph. How do you say? What is that? What is what is that? Many many jobs. 
Uh, what, what do you say? Poly what? Polygrapho. Polygrapho, <laughs> yes. Proof polygrapho. What is that? The polygrapho. The when, when the company makes the polygrapho test, is um, because they want to know if you are a trusty, trusty person. Ah, it's when they, when yeah, they, if, they if, connect if, something. If you, in, if you like, in, yeah, if you are a set, oh, okay, okay. telling lies. That, that's, that is polygraph. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. Polygraph. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Polygraph, sorry, the lie detector. <laughs> in number, teacher, number of the company. Uh -huh, yeah. Call. Okay, there you go. I think that's that's enough. That's a, a little bit too much information. Okay, so this information is the one that we're going to use. I'm going to copy the information in this moment. I'm gonna share with you all in the chat. Okay, so that everybody can see it. I just shared it. Do you see the information? Yes? Okay. We're going to work on this activity, but we're going to do it in couples, okay, in couples. So work with your partner, help each other, complete the list. You're going to create the, the, the ad. I don't know, you can use Microsoft Word. I think that's, that's the best one. You can go to like different, different styles there. Or if you wanna do it on, on a PowerPoint presentation, that's fine. That's your decision, okay? Do you have any questions? Can you repeat, please, the activity? Yes, yes, of course. We're going to, you, you are going to create a job ad, okay? Or a piece of paper in which you are asking or requiring a person. Yes, you're going to do it in couples and you're going to include the information that we were uh, brainstorming before, which I have sent to the chat. Okay, that information you will use, okay? You can use Microsoft Word or another, uh, well, whatever you like, whatever tool you want, okay? Ready, people? No, we're going to have groups of three because if I, if I don't do that too many, too many groups, it'll be like 12 groups. Okay, so let's go people, let's join. Let me see, I have to see the people that are not available uh, are going to be sent to the same uh, group. I haven't heard from Walupe, I think she's, she's not there. Edwin said that he was busy, I think. Edwin, are you available? Wilfredo is now in a meeting. Yeah, Wilfredo, I think he's busy. people I'm just creating a group of people over here. Okay guys let's go bubbles. Let's do this.
Wilfredo, Sulma, and Ewing, could you please join the groups? And if you're not able to participate, please let, let your classmates know about it. Adriana, hello. Adriana. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Um, are you able to participate, Adriana? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. I'm then, sorry. Uh, let me send you to a different group because aquí mandé a los que no porque no podían participar. Ah, ok, teacher. I'm sorry. Yeah. Como le había llamado a usted, no, no, me, no me respondió, pues sé que estaba ocupado o algo por el estilo. Déjeme la cambio de grupo entonces. Ok, teacher. Ahí está. Yo, go. go. Uh, you mean a, a name company? Uh -huh. um, Maybe, maybe uh, Kimberly Clark. We work I don't know. Yes. For okay. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. Me llamaba. Hello. Need, I need to help you. Okay. Uh, in the moment, it is arriving. I can refuse you uh, activities. Hello? Hi. Can you please repeat what you said? Uh, what is your activities? What is the activity? Huh? What is yes. the activity you said? Yes, it's a writing, a lot of writing teacher. We are going to create, we're going to create a job ad. Vamos a crear un anuncio de, para un empleo. Okay. Empleo de okay. gerencia for a manager position. And, uh, bueno, no está la información que tenía acá. The information, ya se las mandé, the information that we're going to use, lo que usaremos ah. en el video al, al chat. Ah, ok. La reenvío en este momento, ya la reenvié. Ok. Es la misma que nos mandó en el chat. Usarán esta, usarán esta información para poder crear un anuncio de un empleo de, de gerente. Ok. Usen su creatividad, cualquier estilo que ustedes quieran, ok. Ok, thank you. And include include the information I sent to the chat. Okay. okay. Please. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Make a presentation. You are very mm -hmm. creative. Mm -hmm. Ernesto, 
Okay, uh, maybe we can start with the job description or uh, I don't know. El, el, el... Vamos, vamos, vamos. Uh, hi, hi. This is, this is, sir, it says search a marketing manager. No, no, cambiémoslo. Ma marketing manager. Luego ponemos un verbo en pasado. Yeah. Need it, need it, want it. Tell me. Um, no, no, al, al revés. Al, al, uh, needed at the end. A marketing needed. Marketing manager needed. Marketing manager. Needed. Uh, okay. Needed. Okay, yes. There you go. Okay. okay. Continue, guys. Description. Description. To prepare, um, um, yeah, reports um, to the reports to the to the manager. I don't know. Yeah. To prepare reports to the manager. Yes, you can use as well. Uh, responsible to manage a large group of. People. Okay, responsible to manage a large, uh, a large, a large group, group of people. Group of people, of people, people. Okay, age. Um, what? What age? Um, how do you say? Um, you can. You can include uh, main, the main point of contact. In the description? Yes, another one can uh -huh. be the main point of contact. The main? The point. main point main. Uh -huh. of contact. Uh-huh between the owners between 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 in that way between between and the staff management the owner and the staff management management yep between i i have uh, my my doubts be, be between be, between, my God, I don't remember between. What did you guys? What did you guys see responsible? The word with a. Where, where did you it's see respons it? It's responsible with with I, right? Yeah, I think it's with I. This, ah, uh, yeah, it, it is confusing because this word is correct too, but it's not English. It's French. <laughs> oh, really? Uh -huh. oh <laughs> That's why that's why a lot of people confuse them. Responsible, responsible. <laughs> the word is correct, but it's not it's not English, it's French. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but <laughs> okay. Okay, let me let me do something. Okay, you're doing a good job. Keep it up. Okay. Okay, the edge. Guys, how is everything? Guys? That's a, nice, that's a good example. In use. You can use that uh, format. Okay, teach. Guys, continue, please. We're almost, we're almost finished. We're almost finished. 
Hello? What the position? Function, you must say. Function at this moment. No. What happened? The found. The way you said no. That was funny. No, no, the, <laughs> the number of the font teacher is it's not okay. <laughs> okay, we check. Direct all operation. This is the function. Yes. Fun. No, no, Fun. It's, it's the car. Ah uh, yes, yes. The question. Function. 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 Function with C. With C. With C. With C in. F U N C. F U N. N. Function. That's right, teacher. No, 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 no. With F U N C T. Ah, okay. This. Ah, there you go. Function. Ah, okay. Function. 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 Digital operational aspect including distribution operation, customer service, human resources, administration, and sales. And this. Is an X. Distribution of job. Um, the same manual description of your yes. Um, you can go, you can go to Google, you can go to Google and find information about design manager the activities. Okay. That, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What? What? It's a cord. Coordinate, puede ser. Coordinate all. All oh. of the sign world. Watch. O si quieres se lo escribo. Ese está bien, porque ese es eh, eh, lo que se busca. Ah, quiero ver, ya, ya escribió uno de ustedes. The information is good, yes. A design manager is responsible for creating that. <coughs> Is you a bit like a habilidad? Hi. Hello. I did say hello. Wow, that's good. I think we can have a, a order. Maybe age first, experience next. Grado académico, how do you say grado académico? Study? Mm -hmm. Study. No, no, you can just go like, like educational experience. Okay. Or just education. Yeah. Education, that's fine. Education, wow. Mm -hmm. Education, that's, that's correct. Okay. Um, degree. Another. A skills, right? So, ability, uh, you can put us a uh, community. Um, 
team worker in the skill we can put it or yes, community, community team what team work team work trabajo en equipo just team worker i think uh, it's, it's just one word unida ah sorry team work team work um um, when you say loyalty. disponibilidad de horario, how do you say loyalty? Loyalty. Uh, availability. What? Availability. Aha, uh avail uh -huh, uh -huh, come on. What? Uh, how do you say? In the chat one day. Availability. In the chat uh, Ah. When you say no. contratación no. inmediata, how do you say that? Immediate. Immediate contact. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Immediate. Uh, immediately hired, kidding. Hired, yes. Hired, uh, so. Um, okay. What's the thing here? Okay. Uh, more, more extra credentials. Mm -hmm. I think maybe for this kind of other other language. Uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Other language. Like a different diploma, a different uh, speciality. Like extra, extra, you know. Uh, English. English required. Did you finish? Como la ubicación. Ubicación de entrevista. Ajá, en lugar de la entrevista. A dónde se ven? A dónde tiene que ir a la entrevista? Okay. Oh, send us your. <laughs> And the ultimo, for more information, send us. According. Your, according. Dice, nuestro, nuestro <laughs> CV. <laughs> Sorry. No. CV. This? <laughs> oh. You almost finished, huh? Okay. Yes, Kimberly Clark. Empresa teacher. Ah, okay. Es una empresa. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. okay, see you later. Uh, can we say yes. proactive? Yes. yes. Okay. Proactive. Creative? Creative? Yes. Creative. Um, you can use a uh, negotiation. Negotiation. Negotiation and conflict management. And conflict. Conflict. 
management, management. Oh my God, and the phone number. The phone number and the phone number. Invent one phone number. Y, C, three, um, eight, no, eight, two, one, zero, three, six. <laughs> Okay. Let's review. Okay, this is focus. This is the same. Okay. You almost finished, right? Yes. Yep. Sir. Because because we're we're almost done with the time. We just have ten minutes. Can you guys finish? Terminaron? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, Did you finish? Puede ser esto. Disculpe. Puede ser esto una presentación de empleo. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y necesitamos llenarla. No. O solo podemos presentar. No. No, that's not necessary. It's present. Oh. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, let me go to a different group here. Thank you for, for that. Yes. And yes. Uh, hello, teacher. Hi. I'm here. Uh, uh, about the information in assessment, I don't have idea. Could okay, you mind help me? Don't include it. Don't worry. Don't include that. Don't worry. Okay. But refer the maybe specific test. Sorry. Refers to a specific test. No, not really. Assessment is it's not an evaluation of an exam. It's an assessment is. Evaluation by by looking at the person by monitoring during the interview. No, I don't think so. That. That's your decision. Okay. Okay, teacher. I believe we finished. Maybe. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to go back. I think it is, yes, it is time. We're going to go back to the main session. Okay, let's go. Okay. We're going to present that with everybody. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, classmate. Thank you, Glorita. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi, we're back here. Okay, I'm going to present some some of the, the job ads that you have. Not all of them because we don't have enough time to do that. So is there a volunteer, a group that would like to share the activity? Gabriela y Flor. Okay, excellent. Okay. That's motivation. <laughs> Mm. Uh, can you see the yes i can the slide? okay okay the kimberly craft marketing manager needed we require a person to lead the marketing area with a knowledge in market research Social, social media and publicity. Adam. We need we need a responsible for the developing, implementing, and scouting strategy marketing plans for an entire organization in order to attract potential customer and retain existing ones. Okay, uh, we need someone with three to five years experience on similar positions, come from a variety of academic back backgrounds, including marketing, communication, business, and other fields. Uh, we offer a competitive, competitive salary, a good work environment, flexible shoes. Uh, for more information, you can send us your CV to jobs kc arroba email. It's okay, it's okay. Add, add. Add, okay. Hold on, don't, 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 don't stop sharing. La arroba, uh, la arroba, the, 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 the thing. Se dice, se dice add. Add, okay. Y el puntito se dice dot. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's continue. Thank you very much. Thank Excellent you. people. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Another group that would like to share. People. Hello. Our group teacher. Okay, go. Thank you. Okay, Carla, Carla and Luis can help us. Hello. Carla, are you there? Yes. Can you help me to read? Okay. Um, name of company, uh, Google LLC, profession needed, business administration for a position of project manager. Description of job, responsible of the all administrative activities and a fiscal authority activities, responsible to prepare reports to the, man, the manager responsible to manage a large group of people. The main point of contact between the owner and the staff management. If necessary, below 30 years old. Go, Rosita. Okay, experience. Four plus years leadership, coaching, managing, and recruiting experience. Analyst consulting and financial planning. Skills, quick thinking, problem solving, analytic capacity, teamwork, and people skills. Um, extra credentials, master degree in financial and business related fields or 
equivalent practical equivalent practical equivalent equivalent practical experience pm certification is equi equivalent equivalent yes okay equivalent okay thanks and okay and pm certification uh, Luis, are you there can you help me sure okay uh, it says salary according to capacity bonus according to the results or performance interview place san salvador time from 9 to 5 p.m location san salvador assessment visionary proactive creative negotiation and conflict management. You can call the phone number 563-821-036. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you guys okay. for sharing. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. we still have one uh, for one more group, the last one. Who wants to share? Me. Okay, go. Yes, this moment. Yes, the Kuzka Klaban, the age 25, 45 years and older. Experience, three years in similar position. Functions, direct operational aspect, including distribution operations, customer service, human resources, administrative and sales. Access, access local market condition and identify current and prospective sales opportunity. Develop forecast, financial objectives and business plans. Meet goals and metrics. Manage budget and allocated funds appropriately. Bring out the best of branch personnel by providing training, coaching, development, and motivation. Local areas for improvement and propose corrective action that meet challenges and leverage growth opportunity. Share knowledge with the other branch and headquarters on effective practice competitive intelligence, business opportunity, and needs. Address customer and employee satisfaction issues promptly. promptly. Sorry. Okay. Adhere to high ethical standards and comply with all regulation applicable laws. Network to improve the presence, the presence and reputation of the branch, branch of com and company. Stay abreast of competing market and provide report on marketing mobile penet penetration. Skill, excellent verbal communication skills, business management skills, customer service skills, the ability to sell products and service, leadership skills, knowledge of economics and accounting, ambition and a desire to succeed, to be thorough. And pay attention to detail, advanced levels in English, extra credential, master degree in economic or relatives degree, maybe. Benefits, salary competitive, extra bonus, social benefits, additional of the low labor. And the address, Avenue 555, building errors, floor five, San Salvador. For number 555-555-55. Time of an interview, 9 and 8, July 1st, 2022. Uh, who? Mr. Orlando Guerra, manage, manager of human resources. The Air Guerra, uh, that, that mm -hmm. teacher? That, yes. Cit Citibank.com. Yes. Okay, excellent. Well, only that teacher. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. I think this disposition requires a lot of things. Yeah. And it is, it is it's real. Not easy. It's not easy true. to apply. <laughs> it's not easy. 
this is true. Like today, today positions or job positions, they require a lot of things, like 10 years experience of this, 10 years experience on this area, like. Uh, 25 years. <clears throat> Carla's years cat. of experience. Look at Carla's cat, he's famous. He's covering it. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, we don't the cat. The cat. <laughs> Yes, it's my cat. <laughs> okay, guys. She we... wants <laughs> she... <laughs> want go to bed. bed. She, wants to, she wants to speak English too. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let me let me take attendance real quick and then we, we're free to go. Except Gloria Elizabeth, are you there? Yes. Se queda, okay. No se vaya, no se vaya a ir. Como otros que toman. Ahí me queda. Sorry, Gabriela. <laughs> okay, Ana Patricia. Present. Andrea Stephanie. Present. Ana Selmi. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra. Present. Gloria. Do you need me to stay at the end? Gra Ga Gabriela, quedémonos las dos. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see Guadalupe del Carmen. Okay. Here, teacher. I think. No, Guadalupe del Carmen. <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> I think she was having a lot of uh, internet problems. Jose Ernesto Osorio. Present. Julia Patricia. She disappeared too. Present. No, I'm yeah. here, teacher. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Carla Veronica. Present, teacher. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Luis Orlando. Here. Nelson Edgardo. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz. Good night. Present. Hi. Rosa Elena. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina. Present. Hi. Walter, Walter Mauricio. Wilfredo Guardado. So, present teacher. Hello, hello. I, I'm here, teacher. Did you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Brother. Okay. Good night. And uh, Edwin Alexander. Okay, people. Present. Yes, yes. Thank you, Flor. People, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, I will see you tomorrow, teacher. Have a good night. Good Sleep. night. Okay, good, night. good night. Stay, stay beautiful. Good night. Good night. Don't get ugly, okay? Thank you, teacher. Yes, Sulma, what happened? No, solo si me había mencionado, no la escuché. Que puse falta, no me preocupe. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you, good okay. night. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. <clears throat> Sorry for yesterday, teacher. Don't worry. It's okay. It's not a problem. I understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think mm. it's not there. Okay. Gabby, do you have any questions? Mm, no. About At the moment, no about the classes or any comments, opinions, or something that you would like to add? And at the moment, uh, maybe the platform, uh, you say that uh, we need to complete all the activities today, right? Yes, but uh, the activities for the first week. We need one. Uh -huh. um, exactly, you need one. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. You need just that, okay. Because we finished the week today. Okay. Uh, today. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, yesterday I completed uh, three activities. Okay. Only. Uh, 
That's okay. You can finish today. Okay. The... okay. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. Good night. Good night, Gabriela. Take care. Good night. Bye. 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 No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Gloria, do you have any questions? Opinion? I, I um, found it best. I found in the class very much. <laughs> okay, excellent. That's good. That's good. Yes. That's okay. uh, well, we can speak in Spanish in this yeah. moment. Comentarios, opiniones, preguntas. Preguntas. No, este, nada más um, decirle que me ha gustado la forma de que nos integraran de nuevo en las, uh, en los, en las sesiones reducidas, mm -hmm. porque ya teníamos bastante de no hacerlo. Creo que compartimos más, aunque algunos compañeros no se conectan o no quieren hablar o, o algo así, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí, es, es una buena forma de relacionarnos un poquito más. Eh, me divierto mucho, mucho, mucho con sus ocurrencias. Realmente es, es agradable, ¿verdad? Sí. Thank you. No he comenzado la plataforma, pero ahora lo voy a hacer. Ok. Y lo, no, a medianoche. Sí. Sí. Lo que puede hacer es hacer una primera parte, una parte hoy, hoy en la tarde, después de clase, y luego la otra parte mañana en la mañana. Ok. Sí. Así para que descanse antes, no, no, se, no se depele. He estado mal de salud, se totalmente. Se pero, pero aquí estoy, pues, o sea, porque me interesa aprender. Sí. Eso es bueno. Okay. Muchas gracias. Okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow, Bye. teacher. Bye. Bye.